and welcome back to Pilot Course. So in this video lesson, I'm gonna talk about how to draw different types of shapes in Pilot. So for that, uh, to give you a demo on how to draw different types of shapes, I'm going to do one simple project that is something like this. So let's begin. So first thing is, I will make sure that uh, my PyLib code structure runs without any error. For that, uh, I've already saved my file as Stupa project and uh, inside my uh, folder, I have already have a download folder. So now, uh, first thing is, I'll import my PyLib model from PyLib, import star. And then next thing is, I'll define function. So here, I'll define my function as Stupa. And then I will pass one parameter. And then I will pass this function for timing. Now you should write repeat, and here you should be repeating a stupa. And then run. So first make sure that this file code structure runs without any error. So now it's perfect, and there is no error. So let's begin. So the first thing is uh, I want to resize my file window. So for that uh, I have to use a window method window set size and here you have to pass the width of a window and height of a window so for that I'm going to pass 800 and then the height 600 so let's check once okay it's fine but then look I need to clear the window screen so I remove this pass and now I pass here window dot clear now it's perfectly fine so before I start drawing my stupa here, so I would recommend you to like uh, whenever you are dealing with the shapes, I would recommend you to show a grid line so that uh, you can exactly align the shape and you can exactly find the coordinates of the shape. So for that, uh, you have to call that function window dot uh, show axis. Now you can see a grid line. This will help you to find the exact coordinates of the shape. In this video lessons, uh, our project is to create. This is stupa or commonly we call this as a chotin. Okay, first thing is I will create this rectangle. Okay, so for that uh, I want to name this as a body. So this one should be the body of my chotin. So here I'm going to call a rectangle. So since this one is a class, make sure that uh, your first letter should always start with the capital letter. Otherwise you will get an error. So I'm calling a rectangle method. First one is you have to pass the x and y coordinates of first vertex and then to width of a rectangle and then height and then the color of a rectangle. To draw this, I want to find the exact uh, locations. I want to draw a rectangle at this location. So what you should know is the first thing is you have to pass the x coordinate and y coordinates of this location and, uh, and then uh, you have to pass the width and height of a rectangle. So for that, uh, this one, like uh, the x and y coordinates is, so maybe I'll write this in a paper, the x coordinates of 300 and y coordinates of 100. And then the width, width is 200. And then the height is exactly 100, 200, 300. So height is 300. So make sure that uh, whenever you are drawing different types of shapes, like, uh, I always note the coordinates in a paper, something like this. Clear this okay. So now I want to pass the x coordinates. So I read from my paper. So the x coordinates of 300 and then y coordinates 100, and then the width is 200 and the height is 300. And here, the last attribute you sh should pass a color by default, it is an orange. So I will pass a gray for here. So now, here you have to draw your body. Now, for that, you have to like body draw draw okay now let's run now you see that we have perfectly got a rectangle so now next that I'm going to draw is somewhere in the middle I want to put one circle so for that what you have to know is you have to know exact x and y coordinates for the center of your circle so for the x coordinates like the center is 400 and then the four the y coordinates for the circle of center should be around 250 and then the next attribute to draw a circle should be like a radius of a circle maybe I will give around 30 pixel and then the circle for that I will name this mid circle that you have to call a circle class 
and here the first attribute you should take is the x coordinates and the second attribute should be the y coordinate that is these two coordinates should be the center of your circle and next one is the radius uh, let's try with 30 and then the next one is the like the color of the circle and so for that i will pass a white uh, whenever you are passing a color make sure that all the letters are in small letters otherwise uh, in some cases you might get some error so now let's draw a circle so here is a mid circle mid cic so you should exactly call this name variable name so mid circle draw draw okay so now let's see so now our circle is exactly in the middle but then the size is a little bit small so let me increase the size to 50 okay that's perfectly fine so now the next thing is we are done with this part and this now uh, i'm going to draw a top triangle so for that coordinates should be this this one and this one the first coordinate is the x axis is rounded and uh, y is 400 second coordinate is here this one the x coordinate is 400 and y coordinate is 500 and next vertex is this so for that the x coordinate is 500 and then y coordinate is 400 so you have to exactly use these coordinates so that you get a perfect uh, triangle i will write this as a drop triangle so for that you have to use triangle class G I A N G L E. Okay, triangle class. And the first one is you have to pass the first vertex that is x coordinates of first vertex and y coordinates of first vertex. So 300 by 400. And now on the top uh, we have uh, x coordinates of 400 and y coordinates of 500. And then to the next, the last vertex we have uh, 500 by 400. These are like uh, x coordinates and y coordinates. And lastly, I will pass the color of the triangle. So I will use black here. And then now you need to draw this triangle. So top triangle. Okay, draw, draw. So now let's run this code. Okay, now we exactly got a triangle. So that's perfect. The next thing is I want to draw a base. So for that, uh, I'm going to draw one polygon. I want to take this vertex and this vertex and then this vertex and then this vertex I want to draw a polygon something like this so for that I will take uh, like the first vertex so for this vertex the coordinates is x coordinates of 200 y coordinates of 100 and then for this we have x coordinates of 600 y coordinates of 100 and then next I want to take this it should be in serial otherwise uh, your shape might get distorted so next x coordinates of 650 and then y coordinates of 50 and then here i have to use this so for that x coordinates of 150 okay 150 and uh, y coordinates of 50 so let's try to apply this let me name this as base okay for that i will use a polygon class so this polygon can be used with any other different types of shapes like whether you want to draw a square or like a octagon pentagon anything you can use uh, this polygon because it can trace every vertex of the shapes so for that we have to use p-o-l-y-g-o-n polygon and then here you have to pass the first vertex the first vertex is 200 by 100 and then the next one is uh, 600 by 100 okay so now next vertex is 650 by 50 and the next one is 150 by okay, 50 and lastly you can pass one color so for that let's pass green so now i have to draw one base dot draw so let's check once so now you see that we have exactly got this polygon shape next thing is i want to draw somewhere here maybe a small rectangle a red color rectangle so for that uh, what we have to do is First thing is you have to find the coordinates, maybe some this much. Okay, first coordinates, second coordinates, third coordinates, and fourth coordinates. So we have to find the coordinates of these four vertex. So for that, this one is uh, x is 300, okay, x 300, and then y is uh, 
350. So by the way, like uh, when you are hovering your mouse, you will get a coordinates here. I will call this as a top rectangle. Top right. Okay, for that I can use a rectangle. And first x coordinates is 300, y coordinates is 350, and then the width is uh, 200, and height I'm going to give 50. And now let me pass one color here, so I will use red. So now you have to draw this here. So for that you have to use top right top draw. Okay, now run. We have got rectangle exactly fitted in our short end. So the next thing is uh, I want to draw prayer flag here. I want to draw a line from here till here. So for a line, you can use a line class and it will take a starting point like x and y coordinates of the starting point of the line and then a point of x and y coordinates. So the starting point is this and end x and y coordinates should be this. So for that, uh, my coordinates is this one has a coordinates of x axis 100 and y axis 100 and the end is x coordinates of 100 and y coordinates of 500 and the extra thing that line class take is it will take a thickness of the line maybe i will leave around 5 so let's take ones okay now maybe i'll name this as a prayer flag okay so for that i will use a line class Okay. The first attribute should be like a starting point of a line x and y coordinates. So the starting point of x is 100 and y is 100. So the next one is starting point of x is 100 and the next one is x y coordinates 500. And now the next it will take is the thickness of your line. Maybe I will give around 5. And then the last attribute you can pass color of your line. Maybe I will use a black here. So now I have to draw a prayer flag here. Okay, now let's see. Now we have exactly got a prayer flag. So now somewhere here I want to draw one small line. To draw a line, the starting point I want to put somewhere here. Okay, maybe somewhere here. And then the ending line at somewhere here. So X and Y coordinates is, maybe let's keep it 50 and Y coordinates of 450. And then the end is X coordinates of 150 and Y coordinates should be say 450 because of our line should be state i will name this as uh, prayer flag line now the first one is x coordinates so it's 50 and y coordinates of 450 and then x coordinates of 150 and then y coordinates of 450 so now let me draw this draw, draw so now let's see so now i've got thin line because i forgot to i forgot to mention the thickness as well as color okay this is what i'm going to draw so now, uh, next thing is, seems like this video is going to be very lengthy, so let me minimize. So I just want to show you how to draw an ellipse. So let me draw an ellipse here. So starting from the center point of the ellipse should be maybe 150 of the x-axis and y-axis of 100. And then x-coordinates towards the x, maybe around 50. And uh, x-coordinates of y. So now let's draw an ellipse you can name this as a stone for that you can use e l l i p s ellipse class so for that you can pass uh, x coordinates and y coordinates which should uh, be the center of your ellipse let me pass 150 and 100 next attribute should be the radius in x axis so 30 and then the radius towards y axis so 50 and then the next thing is you can pass one color. So let me pass uh, black. Okay. So I have to draw this ellipse now. Draw, draw. Now you see that you can draw an ellipse and the position looks a little bit weird. Maybe I need to change the coordinates. Maybe I have to put 50 here and 30 somewhere here. Now this looks fine. So basically, I'm not going to complete uh, the drawing here because it might take too long. Now you already have an idea that to draw a rectangle, triangle, circle, ellipse, polygons. Basically these are the things that you need to know while you are working with the, the shapes. And if you want to further enhance, you can also draw one like a circle here. And then you can also draw a long triangle here to resemble the, like a prayer flag. And then 
The last thing before I close this video, I want to share one thing that is there are two ways to draw in pilot. The first one is your draw method, and second thing is there's also something called stock where you you don't see any field color except you will see only the stock line. So maybe let me show a demo for this circle. Our mid circle is this. So I've used a draw method, but you can also use something like stroke. That means you can see only the outer line. So let me run this code. You can use stroke line if you just want to see the outer part. And if you want to see full shape with the color, then you can use a draw method. So it can be applied in any ways, like that. even in the top right triangle, like I can even pass stroke here. Okay, you see that you get only a stroke line. So, the very important thing is I have not covered all the shapes. To draw the different types of shapes, you can use a polygon method. And race, otherwise you have to be specific with the classes that is already defined inside a pilot. That's all for this video. So, I hope uh, you have learned about how to draw different types of shapes. Uh, so, if you come across any doubt, like you can always leave a comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.